up everyone? It's Joshua Rains from Possum's Paracord. I would like to show you one of the ways that I like to make a self-defense keychain. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using 30 feet of Copperhead 550, a 1 inch chrome ball bearing, and a 1 inch split ring. All of these materials can be found at StockStillOutdoor.com. All right, to start, I went ahead and put a lacing needle on one end of the cord. I'm starting from here, I'm gonna literally gonna come over probably about you know, four feet. Okay, we're gonna do, so we're just gonna twist the cord, make a loop. Goes over the top of itself. Okay, take this in, lay it over that loop. I'm gonna take this one here, and come under. All right, I'm gonna go down through this loop, up through this loop, and then over this one and through this loop. Now, just gonna pull the shrink this up a little bit. Now, take your fingers, just kind of flipping it downward like that. Okay. Take the ball bearing, put it in there. Tighten it down a little bit here. Uh, you don't want to make it really tight. Okay. Now, the end with the lacing needle where it comes out here. Want to come down. And you're just going to simply follow where the other one comes out. You're going to come up right beside it. Like that. And basically, I just did a Turk's head. Alright. What you're going to do. You're just going to keep following the same one all the way back through. We're just going to double it up. And as you keep going, this of course will start to tighten itself to the bearing. That's why it's best to start loose. Okay. 
Let's see if we come all the way back around. So I'm just going to go for a third pass. And it's already holding the bearing in there on its own now. back around um, what I'm going to do where this one comes out here I'm going to run it under these three They both come out almost perfectly right across from each other. Now, what you're going to want to do is work from your long end, and you're going to want to seriously, you know, crank it down. Uh, start slow. I usually do three to four passes. Uh, you just keep working your way around and what you want to make sure is while you're doing this also you want to keep looking at your bearing because if you're not careful you'll get halfway through and then you'll look and be like well that ends way bigger so just take your time work through it uh, and we'll tighten this up and I'll be right back here we have the finished product. Tighten down. I actually did five passes on this. Uh, used a Marlin spike to get this good and tight. This ball bearing will not even spin. It's so tight. And that's what you're looking for. Okay. Now, we're going to go from here. I'm just going to do a snake knot to bring these two together right here. So I'll take the long end, so I still got the lacy needle here. I'm gonna take the long end and um just gonna come over the top and I'm gonna come around behind. I'm gonna make the fish so to speak. I'm going to take the one with the lacing needle. I'm going to come in that tail between that right here. Come up and we'll go through the fish's head. Now, I'm just going to work on. getting this snake knot that I want. Tight. There we go. See? Just like that. 
Yeah. Make sure it looks good and even. Okay. Then here, after that, I'm going to do a diamond knot. So I'm going to show you how I do that. I'm just going to run that behind my hand there. Okay. Take This is the long end here. Okay. I'll take curl it and lay it over the short end like that. You see it actually lays and it's flat right there. I'm going to take this lacing needle. Okay, we're going to go behind that. Just like that. Make sure that stays laid over. Okay. And we'll go down through this loop, behind that, and then up through. Makes your carrot bend. You take the lacing needle, you're going to come back around, go behind that again, and we'll come going around the one that goes between my finger, and I'm going to come up through the middle. And just push that behind there. Then you're going to take this other end, it's going to curl around. And it's going to come around the one that goes in this finger. Okay. And since it's so long, I'm just going to form a little point here. And we'll go under and up through that same hole. And I'm just going to work on. Getting all this through. Okay. Curls underneath. Now, just pull it off. Just push it all down. Like that. Forms your diamond knot. Now, I want this diamond knot all the way up here. So. To find what I need. Now you just follow it through, and I'm just going to work it up bit by bit. A little at a time. Getting it there. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to finish tightening this up and then I'm going to cut and melt the short end. It's just going to melt it right up on there. Right. I'll be right back. And here we are. Finish tightening. 
did the melt. Okay. Then I even went ahead and left myself three feet just to get rid of all that excess. I'm only making this keychain to about a foot long. So having 20 something feet off the back of me here is just unnecessary. What I'm going to do here is we'll come down a little ways. I will do a Celtic button. Um, so we're going to start with that. What you want to do? Twist the cord, form a loop, going over itself. Okay. Same thing again. Twist the cord, form a loop. And then you want to make a pretzel. Then you're going to take loose in. You're going to go down through this loop. You're going to come back up through the middle loop. And I'm going to go down through this loop. And that gives you this. Gonna come, make sure you come over the top. Okay. You're gonna go over, you're gonna go down, you're gonna go behind two, one, two, and up through the center. helps if you just kind of go ahead and start to curl it downwards. And I'm just slowly pulling with both hands while I'm working the loops through. Taking out any of the, just push it through. You just keep working on it. Okay. Now, that's in no way done. Uh, it will need to be tightened down. But I'm going to do two Celtics along the length of this as like a choke up point, you know, like somewhere to grab for when you when you're using it. So for demonstration purposes we're just going to make another Celtic button. So spin the cord, top of itself, spin the cord again, top of itself, form your pretzel, up, down, up through the middle and down through this one okay. and you're just going to come back around and go down go behind two and then up through the center curl it downwards and then just Work the loops through.
Now, of course, they both need to be tightened and they need to be moved. Okay, and the way you do that is you find the one. Pull that up. See, by doing that, I can move the button anywhere I want. And then I just got to run all that excess all the way back through and then pull it off the top. All right. I'll be right back when I get that all done. Now that I have these spaced and tightened where I want them, I'm going to finish this off with a diamond knot. So, come up here, kind of folding the cord in half, tuck it behind my hand. Just going to do a big loop. Laying it on itself. Now this one's going to come around underneath this one and down through this, under this one, and then up through that. Okay, just like that. This one is going to come around, back behind, round this one that goes between my finger. And up through. I'm working with a short end there. Now this one is going to come all the way around. Take it off my finger. And it's going to come up through. Yep. Now you have your diamond knot. She just needs to be tightened up. I'm just going to work all the loops through. Okay. There you have the diamond knot. Uh, it just needs to be tightened up, and this loop needs to be resized. Uh, and then the short end, cut and melt. But I'll be back and show you the finished product. Here it is, the finished product. And you see, I just finished the diamond, melted the other one. Added the split ring, and this bad boy is ready to go. Thanks for watching.